first derivative test. Let f be a continuous function on the closed interval a b and differentiable in the open interval a b then case 1. f is increasing in closed interval a b if f dash x is greater than 0 for all values of x belongs to a comma b. Case 2. f is decreasing in closed interval a b if f dash x is less than 0 for all values of x belongs to a comma b. Case 3. f is a constant function in closed interval a b if f dash x is equal to 0 for all values of x belongs to a b. In order to prove this theorem, what I am going to do, I am going to use the mean value theorem. So, the mean value theorem is f dash c is equal to f of x2 minus f of x1 over x2 minus x1. In other words, if a function f is continuous in the closed interval a b and differentiable in open interval a b, then there is a point c where first order derivative exists. In order to prove this theorem, I am going to take the converse of the theorem. So let's consider case 1. Case 1 f dash c is greater than 0, it simply means that the numerator of the mean value theorem is also greater than 0. So I can write f of x2 minus f of x1 is greater than 0. If I further simplify this, I can say f of x2 is greater than f of x1. This simply means that f is an increasing function. Let's consider case 2. f dash c is less than 0, it simply means that the numerator of the mean value theorem which is here is less than 0. So I can write f of x2 minus f of x1 is less than 0 which is over here. If we further simplify, we can write f of x2 is less than f of x1 which simply means that f is a decreasing function. Case 3. f dash c is equal to 0. So if we use the mean value theorem, we can write f of x2 minus f of x1 is equal to 0 which is over here. And if we further simplify, we can write f of x2 is equal to f of x1. This simply means that f is a constant function. First order derivative has very wide use and we can easily use first order derivative to prove that whether the function is increasing or decreasing function.